Are we doing this? Let's do this. Right. Here we go. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and people from Croatia. Uh, tonight, tonight, uh, we shall be doing uh, something I hate doing with a passion. <laughs> There's things that really wind me up. One of them is lists. I hate lists. I really do. Karen, if you're watching this, I really hate lists. You may know that. Um, but we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. But uh, thank you to everybody that is here uh, watching this live. Um, I see you all in chat. And I will try to avoid reading chat as much as possible. Because you all just take the piss and try and wind me up. It's true. You do. Um, but uh, no. Hello. There's... there's, there's it's don't see don't start with the color there's nothing wrong with the color balance it's seven o'clock at night i'm in a shed in scotland what would you do what do you expect it to be like um no the hatred the hatred for lists is um and all, all, all joking aside all, all joking aside the hatred for lists is because karen always has a list for me in the house of things that I should be doing and and I, I, I avoid doing them but as far as it goes for vaping it's like back in the day when when uh, people watched my videos and people used to actually send me emails asking me questions it's always what would you recommend what's your favorite would you buy this or would you buy that give me your top three and 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 I just I I hate doing it. I, there's one thing I hate doing. So uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, what's your top ten brands? See see there we go. Um, who's your favourite patron? Paul, it would have to be you. You're always my favourite. Uh, but I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, new hair colour? No no. Just a little. Can you you can just see the the grey glint and in there so I went for a 80% coverage so that it looks a bit more natural you know it just blends in it doesn't look like I'm we're not going down this road we're not going down this road what we are going to do before we get started uh, because we will we'll get into 2022 and what came in and what I still have and what do I like and and what do you like this is a an, an interactive process, shall we say, uh, an interactive process. Um, but what I'll do is, there was a few things that came in today, so I will give you a quick squint, a quick squint. Uh, these are the things that are in the review queue just now. So before we kick off with the the theme of the video, we'll, we'll just have a quick looky. Um, Let's go for it. Right, uh, first things first. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I might as well start with this, okay? Because this is, this is, this is, um, so this arrived. Or I should say, this is what it came in. Uh, this is the packaging for the Skynet RBA from eSmoke Guru. Um, it's, uh, you've got a little do that in there. Uh, it's actually a 510 atti, atti stand in there as well. But the RBA was inside here. Uh, the RBA is now inside here. So there we go. There's uh, there's my crit. My crit box with my screaming chickens on it. Yes, I know how much you love my screaming chicken. Um, uh, we've got a limelight tank and the, the Skynet. You're not going to see much. I mean, that's that's. I'm not taking it out, uh, and 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 you can just going to have to make do with what you see there. But uh, yes, I I I I can't tell you anything. I, I I really can't tell you anything just now. Um, what I will what I will show you just just this second just to just to explain how crazy my little Greek friend is. Um, everything in here 
apart from the bit where at the very, very, very top here, every single piece was done on a five axis CNC. Uh, now, a normal ear pin, you know, would just be round on the bottom, but no, no, Vasily has to do things like this because he's a head case and, and he just can't help himself. So even the air pins are, are just, yeah. He's off his head, he's off his head. Uh, but uh, I will be doing a review for this in the new year, in the new year. So, uh, and, and I apologize, I can't see chat right now uh, because uh, yeah. There we go. I'll 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 get back. Uh, other things that came in uh, that you may not have seen. Uh, this came in from LVE, uh, not Lost Vape. I hasten to add. This is by LVE, uh, and I'll explain the company name. Uh, uh, yeah, but it's the Orion V2. Uh, it's using replaceable coils. It's got the TMD coils from um, BP Mods. That's what's in here just now. Uh, four mil or four and a half mil capacity. That's a Bill's drip tip that's on it just now, and uh, forty watts. I think it is. It's uh, it's not a DNA board. It's not a DNA board. Um, but there's lots of funky wooden panels that they've sent on as well. That's like a forged carbon fiber. Uh, it's it's quite the uh, yes. I, I, the vape from it's superb. Uh, so that's another one that's in the queue. It's in the queue. Uh, I think I, I, did, I think I might have shown you this. This is from Made Mods. It's from Made Mods. Uh, this is one that's up. This is this is seventy millimeters in height. It's a DNA sixty. Uh, seventy millimeters in height. That that that's just just hang on. That's nuts. It's crazy how small this is. Uh, it's actually really, really well made. And and there'll be a review for this before long. Uh, but if you're looking for the group, it's made mods. But yes. Uh, so there's that. Um, what else have we got that's in the queue? Uh, this. from El Cigart, a little side-by-side -side action going on there. Uh, I've got the Tripod V2 in there just now with a Turnwood FX drip tip. Uh, DNA 60, 18650, side-by-side, all done in-house. And I've been using this over Christmas and New Year. And it's very, very pretty, it's very pretty. Um, I think it'll take up to a 24 millimeter Atty, if I remember right. Uh, you can get it in plain black without the engraving and everything on it, but um, I got this one. I got this one. So that's a review that's coming along very, very soon. And I think the last one I've got to show you is this doodah. This is from Star Mods. And it's the, oh, by Jesus, the IEC, I think it's called IEC. But the the party piece for this one it's not a borrow tank it's not a borrow tank uh, but it comes with um, TMD coil uh, bridge but you can also fit your own the you know your normal RB normal RBAs I've got the cloud in there just now will fit inside this fill bung in the top 18650 and uh, it's got a Yeehee board inside it, but, but, uh, it also comes with this. And you get a 510 adapter for the top. So you can actually, you can squonk with it. You can squonk with it. And if you don't want to squonk with it, you get the 510 adapter for the top and you can stick, well, you can stick a dripper on the top and you can stick an RTA on the top. It's, um, it's actually pretty clever. It just came in today. It just came in today, but uh, that's uh, that's everything that's 
in the queue just now. Everything that's in the queue just now. Uh, let's just check chat. Uh, Mohammed, the word you're looking for is proprietary. No, my friend. I believe the word I was looking for is Yafani. Uh, right. Um, sorry, chat's gone by. Peter, you should introduce the uh, That version of the side by eight is smekshi. It's very smekshi. Uh, Swiss Army knife of mods. Yes. Uh, it's not a borrow tank, but it takes borrow atties. Just don't go. Just go and eat some meat and drink some alcohol. Um, is it BB threaded? No, it's not. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I've got to say in that one. Excuse me, while I have a little slurpy of coffee. Right. Um, I should have. I should have, and I didn't, because I'm. Um, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Just why didn't I do this? I should have done this earlier on. What I meant to do was um, bring up my videos, uh, but I, I completely forgot to do uh, videos. Where did I go back to? Let's let's scroll back, scroll, scrolling, 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 going back, going back. I'm looking for... There we go. Geppetto. That was the first one. Was that the first one? That was the first one. Or was it this one? Hang on. Quiet, fatty. Don't say anything. Um, I don't know what when that was uploaded. We'll start with the Geppetto. What the hell? Live in the edge. Um, right. Um, what I am going to start with is... We put up a sorry. I should we put up a forum in uh, my Facebook group called the Shed, and the plan was, and what we've done in the past few years was to um, <laughs> it was going to be list your favourite mod, squonker, borrow mod, RTA, RDA, RDTA an RBA for a borrow and the last one was for the best reviewer and it, it didn't have to be tied into this year it could just be in general and we'd got a, an idea on what what people's favorite year was and we usually had a little award at the end and we've done but this year um yeah people were just being idiots <laughs> People were just being idiots and putting nonsense in. But there was about 60 replies, proper replies. And there was that again that was just nonsense. So this is just... I'm, I'm kind of winging it a little bit here. This is it's, this is not definitive. This is just from the, a Facebook group, okay? So it's just to give you an idea. But as far as mods go... Um, the <laughs> so I'm just me. Um, as far as mods go, the the mod with the most votes was the Unific by U Mods. Uh, that is that's this one. So that that is that was people's the one that came out top. Um, other ones that came out really well funnily enough the, the Stratums there was a few votes for Stratums as well uh, but the next one after the new mods was the the Limelight Freehands uh, that was the, the, the one that seemed to do the best so Unific the Limelights and the Stratums all came out uh, but the UMOD Unific was the, the most popular out of all of them Um so there we go for that. Um, Johan, I just I just don't listen to you, mate. It's not that I don't listen to anybody. It's just that I don't listen to you. Um, as far as squonkers went, 
Nobody uses squonkers. Well, there, there, there was a couple uh, that stood out above. And they're going to be the main one. The, the one that had the most votes was squonkers by the one and only Mr. Nigel Moxon at SVB. Uh, there were more votes for his mods than, than any other one. But the one that came up like a second place would be the Sub Monkey, uh, the MK60. Uh, it came up very, very well as, as I, God, I can't hear anything in this ear. Um, that came out very well also. And everything else was, there was a couple from the Cobra, the Billy Club. The Billy Club V2 got a couple of honorable mentions. Uh, but once again, the SVBs and the Sub Monkeys. One, two, three, four, five. SVB came out top. So there we go. Um, as far as Borrow Mods went, uh, this is kind of a close, a close, a close run kind of thing. Um, I'm just counting them here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. The BMM 38 Special, the Limelight Wicket, and the Suicide Mod Stubby. Um, one, two, three, four, five. The Stubby came out top, and the Wicket AIO and the BMM came out joint second. There you go. There you go. That was it for Borrow Mods. Um, RTA. There was... Uh, what, what do we have? Dwarves, Skyline R's, a couple of Golden Greeks... Two people voted for the har. Thank you. I love you so much. I, if only there was two people out there that bought it. Uh, the Imperia, the GT5, the Scrape Arise, the Skyline, uh, the Narva got a couple of votes. Um, but the one that got the most, just counting, one, two, three, two, two, three four. Um, ba, 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 it looks like it's the Monarchy. Uh, J3S V2 came out tops followed by the Scrape Arise 22 there we go for RTAs um, uh, proper coils if I catch you hawking your wares any lot you'll be I'll just I'll just ban all Irish people from chat not just you all Irish people uh, RDA's <laughs> you're not going to believe it if I tell you I'm, I'm just going to say it the, the Narda came out with more votes than anything else and coming up on a close second and I, and I think this is just multiple account, accounts here was the Broken Ohm Pallet uh, RDA but the Narda, and actually the, yeah, the, the Narda came out as the one on top. <coughs> I don't believe that pallet one. That's that Alex Lubinsky guy. That's that's him just with multiple accounts. He's a dodgy geezer. And um, and the despot by Van and Dell was, was just as good, if not better. <laughs> just joking. Uh, right. Well, we got. Let's go back. RDTA was going to be the Cabello. By all, yeah, Cabello, followed by the Kumo, the Aspire Kumo, which shouldn't come as any great surprise because it was pretty much very, very much the same. The RBA Borrow was Cloud, the Cloud RBA, but the the winner by a, a long way loads of votes was the the dope uh, the dope came out top um, there was lots of mobs the thing is that the mob the mob v actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
five. No, the dope and then the mob V2. Uh, the dope and then the mob V2. And, and that was it for, and the best reviewer, I won every single time. Every single person voted for me. You, you, you wouldn't, honestly, you, you think I'm making that up? I'm not. Look, every single person voted for me. Look at all those votes there. That's, that's just, that's, that just speaks volumes to the professionalism and quality of my reviews. And also the fact that I was the only option available. You couldn't vote for anybody else. T. Um, right, let's have a look at chat. Um, let's scroll back up, scroll back up, scroll back up. Uh, anything broken yet? Paul, I've not broken a thing. You'll be glad to know. I've not broken a thing. Uh, would you... Would, just, we're just trying to get a handle on John. Uh, he's just trying to sell shit. Uh, Kyle, I'm new to borrow and having trouble with leaking using Mob 2 with Limelight Tank and Atmazoo Tank. I'm, 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 99% uh, of the time it's going to be down to your wicking. However, however, we were talking about this earlier on today. Uh, Dom Dominic, was it Dominic? Are you still in chat there, man? Sorry, did I just say are you still in chat there, man? <laughs> Didn't mean to say that. Um, or was it Paul? One of the boys was talking about the fact that I think it was with the Mob V two. He found with the the limelight tank that it was just yeah he was having grief with it and it was always leaking. So he was saying the same thing. Um, Personally, I've not had any issues with it, uh, but I, I still maintain a lot of it's down for wicking. Uh, but, yeah, anyway. Uh, demand breakages, best cotton. Oh, the best cotton. Tell you, that, um, hang on. The best cotton. We just, I just, it's just uh, that I've been really enjoying that stuff. Really enjoying that stuff. Uh, but Lloyd, you knew I was going to do that as soon as you said best cotton. You knew I wouldn't do it the other way. Uh, Latier Molly. Latier Mollies were great. Uh, they were good. Uh, Unknown. Uh, yeah, there was a few votes. There was three votes for the unknown. Um, I think it's more the, the unknown. From my limited exposure, um, and I'm not... Yeah, from what I've seen, I'm just talking about my opinion here, I don't think I've seen a lot of people over this side of the pond with it. Um, I have seen a couple of reviews that, that praise it. Uh, I think Ryan... Ryan? Um, Rebuildable Ryan, he said it was excellent. I think it came out top in his poll. He had his top three RBAs, and I think he said it was the best. But he's another reviewer. I wouldn't listen to a word he says. Um, uh, uh, Jesus, ah, that was it. That was it. Jesus reckoned some bridges were pushing on the outer wall and breaking the O-ring seal. It could well be. Yeah, it could well be. Um, Bob, where is the dust cover for your vinyl? Where's the dust cover? It's it's down there. I put it back on when I go to my bed at night. It doesn't it doesn't stay. It only stays like that during the day. Uh, Two point five column more. Blah 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 blah. There's Greg. Greg, see. Greg must have heard that the Unific got more votes than any other mod for the year. So, being typical Greek, you know, he'll come in, he'll take the praise and all the rest of it, and then he'll just feck off again. Because that, that's that's just what they do. They're just like that. Uh, I'm just trying piss-taking bam pots. Uh, right. 
let's um how is I gonna work this? Here we go. Oh, I don't know, I don't even know how to do this. I'm gonna make this up as I go along. Right. We're gonna have a quick swizz through the reviews that I did this year. We're not gonna look at them all. Uh not by any no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, but we're gonna go through them and the gear that resonated with me or the gear that I still have then we can I'll, I'll stop and, and we'll have a little chin wag about it or if anything that actually just didn't resonate with me we might even have a chin wag about that uh, but right let's um... <laughs> Joe there's only one DLC har gold har and I own it. I would bring it down and show it, but it just upsets Sasha. It just upsets Sasha. Right, let's let's um let's whiz through this. Let's whiz through this. I'll um if this gets boring, just say and I'll we'll we'll break something instead. We'll we'll, we'll do something more entertaining. Uh but this is just um here we go. Uh right. Uh, I need a little window here. Right, we are starting. We are starting. We're not starting with this. We're starting. We're going up the way. This is where I started the year off. This was uh, my first bit of gear that I got from Geppetto, uh, which I still own. Um, and I'm not going to lie. I, I, and I, oh, I could get into trouble for the things that I'm about to say here. Maybe I could. Uh, I've still got it. I still think it's very, very pretty. I still don't like the fact that the buttons are recessed on it. That was something that was really annoying. Uh, but it's still a Bonnie mod. Um, and it, it was nice for me to have a, a modern, yeah, a modern Geppetto. Because uh, I think the last Geppetto that I reviewed was um, back in 2012, 2013. And um, it was nothing like this, absolutely nothing like this. So, yeah, that was nice. That was that was just a little tick in the box for me, uh, just to, to have a, a Geppetto. But this, I think the strange thing about it was that I found was that I've got, I'm going to say things that will probably get me in shit. Um, I think Geppetto was here, and everybody else is caught up and making mods that are just as good um and 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 for me it does it doesn't stand out as a million times better than the other mods that i've got it's not a slight i'm not having a go at Geppetto for that Powell for that uh, but it's just it's a compliment to everybody else if you like um right what else did we have that was um Oh, these guys came back. Yes, these guys came back. The Hurricane 1.4 NG RTA by E Phoenix. Holy shit, that was 11 months ago. That was 11 months ago, and 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 they kind of um, they disappeared again. <laughs> they just disappeared again, which is a shame. It wasn't a bad RTA. Um, it, it wasn't bad at all. Um, it, it was very, you know, as good as anything else that was out at the time. Uh, but it was, it was a shame. I, I, I wish it had done better than it had. I really do. Because uh, I always liked the Hurricanes. I mean, the Hurricane Atty, the Resurrection. I, I had that RDA for years. It was one of my favourites for so long. I would like to have seen that back. But, yeah, they've, 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 vanished again um, another one that I'm going to talk about is the Pulse AIO the Pulse AIO um, let's make this full screen here so I can see chat um, hang on no I go through to watch the minge oh, about I can't get that move 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 right um, I go through. I don't, didn't want that to go up there. 
sorry, sorry, Mick. Um, I'm going to mention this and the Cthulhu at the same time. I'm probably the stubby. I'll, I'll, I've not got any Cthulhus here just now because I gave both of them away. Uh, but these. Um, you, you guys know as well as I do that the Borrow World for such a long, long time was the billet box. And if it wasn't the billet box, then it was expensive 3D printed ones. And and getting into the Borrow World was uh, w w wasn't the easiest thing to do. Uh, I know Aspire had one as well. Wasn't the mix? Was it the mix? What was the Aspire one called? I can't remember. Um, and then this came along. Tony B's. This is the 18651. Uh, I know he had lots of problems with this at the start, but this is, you know, they updated the frame and all that. They've updated the RBA, the pulse now. Um, this, the Cthulhu and the Stubby are... It, it just got, you don't have to have a lot of money to get into these things. You can go and spend very little money. Well, to some it may be very little money. To some it might be a lot. But you can go and buy one of these. It'll come with an RBA, uh, come with a tank, chuck a battery in it, and away you go. Uh, I, I tip my hat to these guys. I, I do. I know they get flack from a lot of places, uh, but... This is, a, you know, this is a stepping stone for somebody. Going from this, then going into, you know, crit boxes and mob V2s and all that crap and whatnot. Uh, so, yeah, more power to these people and the options that they're giving us. The box. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um... E Phoenix marinated in machine oil. It was a wee bit, wasn't it? If I remember right. Uh, the abyss and the box were China's first go of it. Yep. Um. <laughs> uh, the Pulse is Peter Edwards' favourite mod. Oh, no, no, no. Um, I will say here and now, I mean, we'll get to it later on. Um, and once again, a lot of you may disagree, but that's just the way it goes. Uh, the stubby for me, I think is very, very good. I, I, I rate the stubby highly. Um, I even love this tank that comes inside it. Uh, I think it's brilliant. Uh, I don't know if they've come out with the mouth to lung pins yet. I think that was something that was on the cards. Uh, I'm sure Chris Bishop told me that the vape shell pins worked in this as well, so you could get a mouth along with that. Um, yes, I'm aware of the fact that lots of some people, many people, had issues with the board. Um, you know, you had to make sure the nut was tightened down. You had to make sure the battery was tightened down. The board would tick, 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 tick when it was trying to read the resistance. There was loads of things going on, uh, but still, for me, this is possibly up there with one of my favourite setups of the year and I'll stick by that, I really enjoy it I really, really, really really do enjoy it um, so we'll pop that back in there uh, Dominic likes the stubby well if Dominic likes the stubby then uh, there we go, Johan got the pulse, you got the pulse for £30 bloody hell mate that is a bargain. Uh, that is a bargain. Um, right, other gear. I can't, you know, I can't even be bothered with uh, with this already. Let's let's just um, go into this again. I need to. Yeah, you can see that. Uh, pulse cloud. See, we're on this. The cloud. The cloud RBA. Right. I'll say this now. Um, the cloud RBA. For 2022 is and that was the first version there was a second version uh, which was just the different engraved cat the cat was engraved rather than etched and the deck was just a tiny little bit bigger um the biggest compliment i could give to the cloud rba 
would be that I would compare it to the Dwarf RTA. It's, for me, it's a benchmark. I think it's one of the, there's no fuss, there's no hassle with it. And the draw, the vape quality, the flavor from the cloud is, is just solid. Um, don't recommend gear and I, I don't do lists and all this kind of stuff but if a mate was to come up and say I want to try out a bridge or an RBA then I would chuck them the cloud and say here have a go at that I think it's, it's a really 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 good RBA um, and yeah it's one of my faves from 2022 uh <sighs> can I just skip over this one I don't want to do this one I really don't want to do this one <laughs> the Hussar BXR ah that just went that went just that was just so uh, <laughs> went wrong uh, right the Hussar um, Hussar's products are for me I love the RDAs the RTAs were always good but what always lets them down is the quality control they finally get round to sorting the stuff and more often than not they, they resolve any issues um, my BXR was pretty poor and I, and I had a uh, there was a lot of hassles trying to get the issues with it resolved I got it for free. It was a review unit, and um, so I think they had lots of issues going on with the other ones that they'd sold. So because mine was a review unit, I was at the bottom of the queue, and um, and I held off as long as I could before I did the review. I just got fed up waiting, and I just reviewed what they'd given me, and just that was it. I didn't enjoy doing it, but sometimes you just have to call it as it is I get gear um, I mean I get gear for review that's not perfect when it arrives and then I'll speak to the modder I'll do the review and during the review I will tell you the issues that I had that was the first review that I'd done in a very very long time where I had to call them out if you like and I didn't enjoy it and I never will enjoy it because I like Matthias He's, he's absolutely bonkers, but he's, he's, he's a good lad. He is a good lad. I just wish he'd get, screw the nut down on the quality control stuff. Um, that's just my take on it. I know there's lots of people that are very, very happy with what they're getting from Hussar. And good stuff. I just wish they'd, yeah. Before you put stuff out, make sure it's tested 100% uh, anyway uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I have the beast in my shite <laughs> um, in fact it was uh, perfect rather than that you're doing yeah you got your number <laughs> Sorry, I'm just reading chat. Anyway, there we go. Anything else exciting? Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start jumping through these and just get to the stuff that's, uh, cause I'll be here for hours otherwise, and, and, and who's got time for that? Let's get to the notable stuff. Oh, the muse. Oh, oh, I've missed, I've missed stuff. Have I? Have I missed stuff? No, no, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going that way. Right, Pallet RDA by Broken Home Designs. Yeah, he he he's just a dodgy geezer. He's just a dodgy geezer. We're not going to talk about talk about him. Um, Alex, you know I love you dearly. Uh, the Dope RBA by Vapeware Mods. Um, yeah, <coughs> as I said, it it. There's mine there. Um, I think it's very, very good. Lots of other people think it's very, very good. Some people can't build in it and are 
idiots. Uh, but, um, yeah. I like it. And I don't care what anybody else thinks. Uh, I, I really, really hope that uh, we see something new from the man himself next year. And I was talking to Marchski about this earlier. I'd love to see him make an RDA. Rebuildable dripper. I know it's not the thing and it's not popular and nobody cares anymore. But I'd love to see an RDA from Vapeware. I really would. Um, other things that uh, I found kind of funny. Here's the one. This. I kept this because I kind of liked it. The, Mu the Muchia, Muchia, I think it was called, by Princess Mods. Now this got, um, I mean that was titanium up the top and uh, rosewood and titanium tubing and it was made, it was very, very pretty. Or is very, very pretty, but it got a lot of hate because of the exposed area for the borrow mods and a lot of people didn't like that now that was 10 months ago 10 11 months ago it's funny how things change because <laughs> there's so many other companies now putting out mods with fully exposed borrow tanks and it's just yeah it's it's weird how the the, the industry goes uh but there's that one borrow mods Blah. uh uh, the site was the site Kyle the site was good I liked it um can we do the worst thing that came in is the dope easier to build than a fave <laughs> I'm not going there I'm not going there uh are we in February yet? no angle grind our hands so we can't have there is the beeper still there the beeper is now in landfill the beeper is now in landfill. I feel the, this is this is one of the, the perils of being a, a, a reviewer. And, and it just goes to show you. I mean, I, I I mean, you know, you already know this. Um, never go off one person's opinion when it comes to reviews, or Facebook groups, or forums, or. Because you've always got the you've got the hype monsters, the people that are going to you know big up the company so they can get free shit. Reviewers, uh, you're going to get the people that just kiss ass because they kiss ass. But but you want the people that have bought the mod with their own money and have used it and and that's the that's the opinion you really want. He says shooting himself in the foot. Um, so I bought the beeper. And I got it, and it was shit. <laughs> it was shit. But yet, they sent out loads of them to other reviewers, and all the review units that everybody else got, they all loved them. They all thought it was great. <laughs> but I bought it, and I got a rusty one that lasted 15 minutes, and then it broke. <laughs> so, I just sucked. Yeah, exposed batteries. To be fair, exposed batteries have been, and I know you probably you know this already, mate. If you go back to Squonkers, Squonkers were the same. You know, when they first started coming out with exposed batteries in Squonkers, people were going ape shit. <laughs> they were going crazy. Um, I need a vape. He says, "What will I vape? On? I'll vape in my Skynet RBA." No, you don't have one. I, I only get to say that for a few for a few days. I get to say that, and then everybody will have one. Um, <coughs> face me, uh, Grim Green said the beeper was garbage too. Good stuff. He's a good man, that Mister Nick Green. He's a good man. Uh, what was the best charity live you were on this year? <laughs> I don't know. There was a strange mix of people in that charity live. A strange mix of people. Oh, there's people from Dublin this year as well. Uh, listen, rather than me going through, if there's something you want to talk about from 2022, 
just shout out and we can go down that road instead. Uh, this isn't about me, just... To, yeah. Um, we've got... What else did we have from last year that I really, 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 really liked? Uh, well, here we go. Oh, we've got to do this. He'll not be here now. Watch this. He's not here, but I'm going to start talking about it and he'll show up because he's Greek and that's what the Greek does. Uh, the Unific AIO. I loved that. <laughs> the Unific AIO. That was that was the, the biggest... He's not here, is he? He's not. No, he's not, he's not there. Um... I loved what Greg did, it was really funny. This this was a side-by-side -side mod, but it came with a tank that could took, take an RBA, but then Greg kind of sold it as an AIO because that's when everybody was going nuts for billet boxes and AIOs and whatnot. <laughs> it was never an AIO. I don't care what you say, you old Greek pervert. This was always a side by side. <laughs> I love them really. I love them really. Um, I shouldn't say that. He'll kick my ass at the Hall of Ape. He'll really kick my ass. Um, other things. Uh, other things that we can have a quick. What can we talk? Uh, I like the Voltrove. The Voltrove, the, uh, there was a couple of issues with it, but they sorted it in the next one. Um, the uh, the dot mob RBA uh, was possibly and probably still the best flavour that I got from uh, a dot mob to a dot tank. Yeah, I'll stick with that. I'd say it's possibly the best flavour. I really like the silo. The silo is fantastic, but for flavour, I think the dot mob is probably up there. Um, tech division. Right, tech division. I'll 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 come out and I shall say this now. Uh, where is he? Right. He doesn't watch my videos because he's he's a grumpy old man. Uh, but see, take division mods. Um, <laughs> there's a few of them here. I I what Milo does. He's one of these modders that for me. I really appreciate, and I wish we had more of him in the game, is that he's he's a little bit batshit crazy. And I think to be a good modder, you have to be a little bit batshit crazy. And you may need to be out there making things that are just a little bit sometimes outside the norm, just to keep things a little bit more interesting. Um, and I love his stuff. Um, I, I still think for a side by side, this with the, the adjustable, you move this up and down to accommodate whatever tank you want. I thought it was absolutely superb. And the, the, the nucle, nuclei, nuclei uh, the Amiga Vapor board, I actually started to enjoy more and more as the year went on. I've got it in a couple of mods now, but um, there's quite a few tech division mods that I reviewed this year uh, but rather than just shouting them all out I just wanted to just say I really like tech division gear uh, and I always have over the years for those of you that remember the minion uh, and this this is my my favourite mouth to lung setup. If I want, if I want to do some serious mouth to lunging, that that that's just glorious. That that's s so sexy. You can't. You, that's sexy. Um, you may disagree, but anyway, I'll pop that back up there. What have we got in chat? Uh, 
Hey uh, Tom, how you doing? Uh, mesh is the greatest. Mesh is not the greatest ever. You're just so wrong. Uh, Cheech, how you doing, buddy? Uh, hey Tom, what do you think? It's still a good RT. The K Fun V3 Mini was very good. K Fun V3 Mini was very very good. Yep, it was possibly one of the last K Funds that I actually got on with. Uh, Decker, Paul Berger, Joe, how much do you get to use your own mods and atties as you must be testing stuff for review most of the time? That is the thing that sucks the most about doing reviews. Um, I, hand on heart. My hobby, one of my hobbies is vaping. The hardware side of it. I love the hardware side of it. And I'm in a, a, a privileged position where I get sent gear f free to review 95% of the time. The good stuff, the really good stuff. Um, I, I, yes, very, very lucky. I know that. I'm also lucky because I get to give honest feedback and the modders that send it on, now, the vast majority of the time, don't mind me giving constructive feedback. So I, I'm, I'm really lucky. But the only downside is is that I, I have gear that I like to vape with myself. Uh, I have a preferred way of vaping. But because you're reviewing gear all the time, you have to use that gear, test it to do a review video, which means you don't get to vape your own gear quite as much. So it does. it's, it's possibly the only downside to the gig. To be fair, it's possibly the only downside to it. Uh, Tom's fighting with the Narva, it's really restricted. It is. I'm sure I said that in the review. <laughs> it is a restricted, it's, it's, yeah, it is. There's no two ways about it. Uh, <coughs> Uh, right, what else can we talk about here? Here's a couple of things that have just... Uh, this one, the wicket. Uh, I want to mention the wicket. Uh, in fact, I'm going to cover a few limelight mods for the, from this year, maybe last year as well. Um, Oh, where are we? Free hands and wickets. Um, Dan at Limelight is possibly one of the strangest people I know. In fact, in some countries, he would be locked up and put under supervision for the rest of his life. It just so happens in Serbia that's normal, and um, and and they let them make mods. Um, <laughs> can't see. I've got to watch what I say here. I've got to be careful what I say. Um, I tip my hat to him for the way he makes his mods, in that you you and I uh, can at home break down these mods and change boards over, replace battery tubes, ever. we can service these mods ourselves and the way that they've been put together is uh, 10 out of 10, absolutely 10 out of 10. I, I think he deserves more credit for it um, but he's very strange man and I'm not going to say many nice things about him because he scares me um, so that's for limelight mods the one thing I will say about him is though he's 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 almost part you'll never see this um, never get into a discussion with him and say that he's wrong because he's like got that engineer type thing going on where he can't be wrong because because in his, his drawing his CAD drawing Technically, he's absolutely 100% right, but in real life, he's wrong. 
so just never get into an argument with them. It was the only thing I would say about this is the tolerances on the wicket were very, very tight. And in a land of borrow mods and whatnot where everything's different, tolerances and everything were all out of whack across the board. It meant that sometimes with this mod it could be a bit of a pain in the backside. But um, that's a minor quibble. He's still one of my favourite modders and I still love him dearly. There you go. Bit of limelight. Everybody loves a bit of limelight. And a limelight freehand. We need freehand swonkers again. I've actually got a freehand swonker. Regu uh, regulated one. Die codes. Um, right. Uh, Joe just bought a wicket mod. Not the IO. Absolutely love it. Yet the wicket's superb. Uh, uh, Lawrence, can you please tell me what you think about the G mod from Aviator? I know that one. That I I I I. Pfft. Hang on, I'm going to do a wee bit of copying. Uh, G mod Aviator. Do, 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 do I know that one? It rings a bell. It rings a bell. Oh, that's 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 going back some time. That isn't it? Yeah, there was um. Ow, ow, did I review that? I did review that, or did I? I reviewed something by G Mod. There was a couple of issues when it arrived. There was a couple of. Uh, it wasn't. I don't think it worked. Something didn't work right. I can't remember. I can't remember the details on it now. Uh, but they released an updated version, if I remember right, to correct the issues. Um, yeah. Uh, lots of love for the Wicket. Uh, die codes, expensive. Yes, for the die codes, it's expensive. Um, AB Mod is coming with something new. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, Edbert Aloha uh, The wickets are big Fact Simple fact That's, that's, there's, yep um, Right What else can I get that, that's uh, What's just stuff, Let, let's get through this And Right, here's one. This might not be a popular opinion, but uh, what the hell, we'll go with it anyway. Uh, the KBRS. The KBRS. Um, damn, eight, eight months ago now. Woo! Uh, I bought my KBRS, and, and you know, I think for a while, it was the smallest, tiniest, borrow mod that I'd come across at that point. It was so, so small. Um, but it had, the one I had, and the, the, there was a couple of issues with it, that even though the mod was it, it exposed battery and all the rest of it, uh, which could make it smaller, um, I just felt that the buttons and the panel around the buttons was... Yeah, it wasn't I mean you can watch the review if you want. Wasn't weren't the best. And also the overhang on the battery, you know, for the battery was different at the top from the bottom. They weren't the same. Um so I, yeah, so I, I I let mine go. I sold it for a a mighty fine price and I think I think it got flipped. Uh but um no it didn't get flipped. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Um it's one mod I really wanted to love. And it's the mod that I'm I probably, I was gutted that it wasn't as good as I hoped it was going to be. And it didn't matter because everybody still bought them and everybody still buys them and they still go for silly money and get flipped and and, and I wish PsychoMod all the best. Um, I, I really do. I'm just... Maybe I'll, I'll go back and have another look at one of their mods and see if... It got better, but the one I had wasn't the best, or it could have been. Um, 
any opinion on diecodes devices I've got loads of diecodes devices uh, in fact I've got a pretty much an even split on diecodes via with DNAs um, yeah, I don't have an issue. But I, I don't temp control. I don't use temp control. So I don't go down that rabbit hole. I don't feel the need to anymore. Um, I'm very but Yeah. There's nothing wrong with diecodes bars at all. Uh, uh, Tom, that's a very valid point. It's a very valid point indeed. Uh, uh, what was wrong with the Unica? that you got the Unica did I did I um, hang on oh yeah the Unica um, the Unica was the the battery tube <laughs> uh, yeah the top plate wasn't sitting flush in the mod and um, it, it was I actually had to take the top plate off and I had to remove some material from the top of the battery tube if I remember right or around the positive contact I think it was there was a nubbin on the positive contact I can't remember the details exactly I had to remove that and put it back on and then it sat flush it took me five minutes to do and I never broke anything um, I think the thing that annoyed me the most was <laughs> Uh, yes it, it, it worked at the end it worked at the end uh, what 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 I saw uh, sorry I missed a question sorry I missed a question uh, Lawrence uh, tell us did you try the Queen I, I, I'm, I'm going to be very, very honest here. Uh, Tells mod, I wouldn't go near it. I wouldn't go near it. Um, they were going to send me a 3D printed mod, and it was, um, it, it, yeah, yeah. If you have one and you like it, I'm really, really happy with you. But it's one of these ones that I'm glad that never ended up in my doorstep because what I saw from their other work scared the living crap out of me. Um, Psycho teased a new mod. Yeah, I saw that. Julie 18650. Yep. Uh, Squint button was on the... That one, Mark. That's the one the squint button was on. Yeah, that was annoying as well. Um, right. Uh, let's just... Uh, oh, what are we doing? An hour and five minutes. I can't talk. I can't, I can't keep this up. We're only eight months in. Uh, RTA. T-Fun. GT5. Uh, yes was good was better than the four I thought um, the Despot RDA by Van and Dell <sighs> I want to say lots of nice things about Van and Dell but I'm not let's keep going <laughs> I, can't, I can't say nice things about Van and Dell it would just be wrong and rude and uh, yeah um, oh I got my first boxer I got my first boxer mod this year uh, the Boro Box 21700 <coughs> I never had any issues with mine it, it, was, it wasn't my bag baby as such uh, but uh, yeah it was, it was nice having one um, and I can see why they're popular. I can see why they're popular. Um, other things. Uh, what did we else did we get? The, these are things you don't really. The Unica we talked about. Uh, the Silo. 
the silo r r r r r the dot r b a where is it it's in here my, my silo lives inside this constantly um it was the silo if you don't remember was from uh, justin and orca vape justin is in delro The capacity on that tank was mind-blowing for the size of it. Uh, it really was. I can't even remember. Where's it gone? Oh, no, it's there. <laughs> it's not in the mod. It's here. That wee guy. I mean, we were, what were we used to? We are used to 2.7, was it 2.7 mil? With the dot RBA. Um, and then this comes along and it's, what, it was something, it's, just about four mil, four point two mil, uh, which is just bonkers. And I wish he would get his finger out and do a borrow version of this. Um, he really needs to do a borrow version. Stop making Delros. Borrow version of this, please. Um, if you have a dot mod, if you have a dot mod, go and buy a silo. That would that would be my um, my tuppence worth there. Uh, what are we on? Uh, did you try a Harpy Slim? No, I didn't. Uh, I never tried a Harpy Slim. I like the Harpy. I, I mean, I bought a Harpy from um, Lloyd and Alex. Vapor Bay UK. Vapor Bay UK did a collaboration with Harpy and I bought a, I bought a Harpy from them. I got one biscuit. I'm just going to come out and say this now. I can't remember how much the mod was, but they sent me one bit. Where are we? I'm not saying I've got an axe to grind, but I kept the biscuit because these things matter. You spend 400 odd quid on a shop in the UK and they give you a biscuit. Vapor Bay UK. Shocking service. <laughs> they actually sent me a box of biscuits later. But anyway, that's 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 by the by. Um, uh, <clears throat> Scott, did the silo fit in the tighter and did it get stuck? Uh, that was the problem, was that the... And I've actually, it's just come up. There's the Taita mod in RBA. I don't want to get... I think at the end of the day, I had four or five mods they sent. All different colours, Taita. And, um, and each one of them was different. And it would read different resistances. Uh, some tanks would fit in certain colours and wouldn't fit in other colours and and, it, and it, the person I was dealing with was, was a salesman uh, he wasn't a, I wouldn't say he was an engineer or a modder, he was a, a salesman and it just wound me up it just wound me up and I got really hacked off with it and, um, and I thought it was a shame because there was potentially it could have been a really good mod I know people think, some people think or a lot of people think they're really good and I think a lot of people really like their new one. Uh, but I had a really shit experience with the company. So it's not one I would go out and chase again. Uh, not one I would go out and chase again. Uh, uh, destroy. I bought the boxer off the back of your review. And the fire button is dodgy after three months. Contact them. So don't um, contact them, get them to fix it. If they give you the runner bound, shout about them. Um, what else did we get here? Uh, pods, 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 pod. Ah, here we go. Right, we're catching up. We're almost there. Woohoo! Um, here's a couple of good ones. The Vision RBA, the Narva, the Aviator, and the Gin. Um, right, the Aviator. <laughs> Be 
careful, be careful, be careful. The Aviator, I really like. I still have my Avatar, which I really like. And I still have my Aviator, which I really like. Uh, contrary to popular <laughs> opinion, it's actually quite an easy tank to fill with juice. Um, not many people know that, but it is. Um, if you use it for more than five minutes, I, I like the aviator. I, I just, I, I, the only thing I will say is that whilst I like it, I wish there was, there's nothing worse than, a, I'm going to say this, there's nothing worse than a modder or a mod company come out with a device and launch it and then you don't hear from them and you can't nothing happens that product comes out and you just you're told that certain things may be happening accessories and so on and so forth but they release the product and then they're gone that's bad crack that's bad crack. If people are buying a product based on the fact that they think that something else is going to come along, uh, then you have to look after these people. And uh, I think, I mean, don't get me wrong, the guys are brilliant. <coughs> Lucas and Sebastian, I like both of them, but I wish they would look after their punters, their customers a little bit better. There we go. Um, this from Alden Mods. Uh, I had this made for myself uh, by Alden Mods and it's it was just a, a, one of these crazy things that I, I woke up one day and I was looking through the old interwebs and, um, and realized that all your cottage industry, small bespoke modders, we're all but gone. <laughs> They're all but gone. Where the hell was everybody? Um, and and so I decided that, um, I mean, I've got an Alden Squonker that was kind of similar, but that he just started doing regulated mods. So I decided that I would spend the money and I would support him and try and show off his work and hopefully try and get him a little business. And I did the same again. I, I bought, a, I got him to make a build tab for me and that was purely just to, to support a small modder. I hate the fact that so many of them are gone. I, 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 I hate that. Um, I'm not knocking the guys that are out there doing what they're doing now, don't get me wrong. Um, and a lot of them aren't massive companies um, or big companies at all. But you know what I mean, the small bespoke one man operation, no CNC, no nothing or anything like that. Um, working out a shed, that kind of carry on. It's, it's, it's I think it's all but gone. Uh, it's all but gone. Anatolian mods. Oh my God, Anatol. One of my longest serving all time favorite mods. Oh, focus, damn you. Oh, my buttons. There we go. An Anatolian. Dual 18650 MOSFET mod. BX022. I, I absolutely adore this mod. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> it's my baby. Um, he made some beautiful gear. He really, he really, really did make beautiful gear. Um, and I, I sometimes wish that I'd kept. I love that. I've still got my, uh, my, my hit it, L-E-B-D. Um, and, and it needs a good clean. Oh dear, look at the state of that. Yeah, it's got my date of birth on the bottom, 23769. That, that goes back some. That goes back some. Happy, happy days. 
Uh, but yeah, the album was uh, Love Cruise is uh, Lizzie Master. Yeah, the 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 old Russian Russian boy. Uh, uh, Destroy. I've got to sort the box out. It was a good review. Oh, I didn't think you were, mate. Sorry. Uh, I, I didn't mean to, if it sounded like I was going fuck you. I wasn't. I, I really wasn't. I would say it if I was going. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, uh, what do you think of the vicious ant? Right? I've not really seen it, mate. The vicious ant vider. I've not really paid much attention to it, to be honest. Uh... <laughs> Are you talking about that? <sighs> My Kuro concepts. Still, in my humble opinion, the best mechanical mod ever made. You remember Kuro Concepts? I know, I know most of you will do. I know most of you will. Uh, remember your coil master coiling rods? Well, John at Kuro Concepts, he designed them and made them and produced them and sold them first. And then coil master kind of copied them. And, yeah. Anyway. Um... I was uh, going to, there was a question, I missed, I missed a question. If I've missed a question, please just, just check it. Uh, Bob, there we go, that was it. Bob was saying, nominate Umbrella and BP mods for best newcomers. Uh, that was one I was going to mention, was this, the vision. Um, I, I still think that is a superb tank. Uh, if you're into your borrow stuff and whatnot, um, I think it's great. I, I love what they did with the design in that you get no condensation, zero condensation. Um, I thought it was very clever. And yes, and BP Mods is is ramp chucking out the gear left, right and centre. And um, yeah. Yes. Uh, BP mod, sick boy, absolutely, he's a genius. Uh, pa, 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 they're gone, but I wish M. <sighs> Don't. MM Vapors and Visionary. That's. Metal Madness Vapors. Um, it, was the, that, it was the last new thing that they sent me uh, they never went full scale production with it and I wish they had I really do wish they had because um, I miss my little friend and Miriam Miriam is I miss chatting with Miriam uh, but yeah MMV and oh visionary <coughs> visionary are still um, don't drop this, you fat, grey-haired old fart. My visionary, th this Penguin V2, this this is one of my, yeah, it's one of my favourite mods. Um, I, I love Marco's gear was just next level, uh, and but the mar the market just moved. It just moved. Um, I mean, I know Marco was chucking out mods. I mean, he was making lots of mods on a monthly basis. And then the market just went like that. And the demand for regulated mods, just plain old regulated mods, just went out the window. Uh, but... Uh, Mike... Uh, an SXK billet or Cthulhu AIO for first AIO? My humble opinion, and with the utmost respect, is that um, uh, I would never recommend a cloned product to anybody. That's just my humble opinion. Uh, because it's stealing at the end of the day. Um, I, Cthulhu AIO, yeah, is a, is a good bet. It's your money, you do what you want. But I'd go for the Cthulhu and I would never ever support clones. Bad. 
Clones are bad. Uh, the sandwich was a good RDA. Yes. Uh, Pam Plus is sitting on your desk and you say, I had a tool in this. A GPX. Oh, GPX. Wow. Whatever happened to no name mods? Yeah. Turn on. Yeah, the, the no name were bonkers crazy as well. Um, they made some insane stuff. But the world was a better place because it was just out there. And it, it you know, life was interesting. I mean, the last I think I saw of them was when they did the, the collab with Aspire. I think that was the last thing they did. Uh, I really do. Uh, uh, destroy, I've got a vicious ant, but you're not having much luck with firing buttons, buddy. You're not having much luck. Um, having problems sorting out with who I bought it from. Yeah, and if you're sending anything back to Vicious Ant, what is it, $50 each way to get it repaired? Um, have a... Get yourself in the forums and, and Facebook groups and find out... I don't know how it's made or how it's constructed. There might be somebody in your country that can fix it. That's, that sucks. That sucks, though. Um Toasty Cheesy has got a brand new Penguin V2 sitting in its box. Sitting in its box? Are you insane? <laughs> Are you insane? They don't leave it lying in its box. <laughs> Get it out. Use it, man. Um, right, let's have a look at some other stuff that happened here. Well, we're... Uh, right. There's some other gear. Ah... Uh, Okay, there's the Monarchy uh, J3S a V2, which I still have, which I actually enjoy a great deal. Uh, I enjoy a great deal. I've got, I've now got the tank extension for mine, uh, and and yes, it's a tank I use an awful, awful lot. Uh, the but the Air V2 was also very good. The mob. Two, the M2, well, you all know about that because so many bloody people have got it. Um, and I will say the Seabot. <laughs> there we go, the Seabot and the T200. Push buttons. I can tell you now that I still have my T200 and I still use it. Because... It's got a massive font on it. And and if I'm going out mucking about, just say I'm going out with the drone or the, the RC truck and I want to take something that can bounce and I don't have to worry about and I can actually see the wattage on it without my glasses. It's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, and also, my Seabot. I love my Seabot. <laughs> I, I am a bit biased on this one because obviously we did a a limited run with my logo on it. We got to do a limited run. So yeah, I'm a bit biased in that respect. But um, I mean, I've been a... And it's Critival. It's, I mean, it's Christoph. It's, I was a fan of oh, the old original Crit Boxes. I had three of them. I've still got three of his squonkers up there behind me. Um, and and I, I like what he does an awful, awful lot. I really do. And when you see it broken down and taken to bits and you understand the work that goes into it and to get to what he did was... I tip my hat to him. I really, really do. Uh, <coughs> oh, um, uh, Tonom uh, had that. Uh, Tonom, it's Tony, isn't it? Tony, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, 
the Paradox collab. That's right. I remember now. Arr. Uh, Kyle, do you have the Orogeny? I've been trying to find one. It's been reminiscent. I've not had any. There was a man that knew how to make interesting stuff. The, they were good things. Good things. Uh, John, yes. Converted John. Um, where's TJ? He's in the house. He's in the. I, I think I said in a previous video. I don't like having him in here uh, during the winter as much because I've got the door closed tight and I'm vaping away. I've got the air purifier going in the back, but um, yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, uh, C bot was brilliant. Bought one from the man. Uh, broccoli bot. What? No mention of the Apex? Uh, because I've not got to it yet, so just chill. Okay, Mo, I'll just chill, man. There's Tony, I, I could, sorry. Uh, uh, the new C-Bots are the, the bodies, he's redesigned the bodies. There's going to be different options for the bodies. I'm waiting on mine turning up. Um, so yes, yes, there'll be, there'll be new ones coming. Um, it's kind of like, almost like, see how that, that comes in there? It, it's kind of like that, but it'll come in further. Um, so it'll be like that on there. <laughs> that, make, that makes absolutely no sense. I'd be as well showing you the feckin' photo. Um, but, um, yes, it's... it's um... <sighs> Aye. Uh, uh, destroy, if it's... Um, uh, yeah. If you need a hand, mate, uh, drop me a message in, face, in Facebook Messenger, if you're on Facebook, or, or email me. And if you're... Yeah, I'll see if I can help at all. Um, yeah, Norbert. He he, oh my God, he was one. Really, he hated vaping. He he loved making gear, but he hated doing the the selling, the support, the having to talk to people. He absolutely despised all that, which was such a shame because the gear that he made, he was so good. It was so good. Uh, Uh, right, Norbert was some of the best tanks ever made. Yes. Um, I remember, was it in taste? Was it in taste in Germany? They had a back, they had stock of all Norbert's gear and they were selling all the tanks and everything off. They sold them for like 20, 25 euros. Dirt, dirt cheap. And they just vanished in an afternoon. <coughs> some people just, yeah, bought them up. Uh, uh, two seconds. Uh, do I have Facebook? I have Facebook. There we go. Uh, no, I don't want to be looking at class. Why am I looking at classic Ford? Um, We're we're going off we're going off in one here. Uh, media. Is this okay? Here we go. Can you see that? Can I see what? See the end step there. I don't know, but I found these results. Okay, online. Google, stop. Um, so yeah, that's that's one of the new styles. That's one of the new styles. There you go. Uh, oh, Plumes of Hazard. I miss Plumes of Hazard. I really do miss the boys. Uh, they were such good crack. They, they, are they still going? The last time I looked, like, Sean was gone and... Yeah, I think I didn't don't think they were even talking about vaping. They were just chewing the fat. Um, 
Yeah, the Plumes boys. It's gone. Um, once again, if I miss questions, just ask me again. Um, Martin, as always, my pleasure. 100% my pleasure, my friend. Uh, my pleasure. Uh, Dean, you haven't missed anything. We were just playing a game. We were trying to guess what colour I dyed my hair this month. Um, uh, Drake67, sitting here with uh, Gar31, Zeus, Zeus X RTA, yep, uh, Caliburn G2. All my high end stuff is in a box or on a shelf. And that is your choice. You do what works for you, buddy. You do what works. Do you know, people get excited and get bash people for choices they make. You do, you do what you want. You do what you want. Um, I've got China mods up here that uh, I use for daily bangers and there's no shame to them at all. Um, the old plum sacks are not on anymore. Are they not? Um, uh, Paul, you linked in Insta. Was that the, the dog one? Was that the dog one where the, the spaniel runs into the camera? <laughs> If that's the one I'm thinking about, it was most excellent. Uh, Akram, uh, I can't decide between purchasing the Voltrov RBA and the Reload Ammo RBA. Which one would you recommend? I never do recommendations. Never, ever, 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 ever do recommend. I hate doing recommendations. I'd, I'd rather come out and publicly tell people that I actually dye my hair than give a recommendation on something. That wasn't quite what I meant to say. Anyway, um, one thing I will say, they're very similar. They're very similar on the kind of draw you get and the style of vaping. Um, if you go for the Voltrove, make sure you get the 1.1. Make sure you get the 1.1, that's all I would say. But uh, I don't think that you would be upset with either. Um, uh, any good juice from 2022? I never see you talk juice and I'm interested. I never talk about juice because I tend to vape the same stuff all the time. Um, the best juice from 2022 was this. This old shite that I, I, I used to vape back in 2012. <laughs> it's just, I, I, yeah, um, and uh, I, I vape this stuff. This is this is my daily juice. This is Jedi's Punk RM's VC. Um, I like my vanilla custards. What else has been? Um, nata. Um, I love my nata. Hastown vapes. The nata is very nice. Uh, I do have my um, No You Can't Buy It custom custard um, that's, made, that's special juice that somebody I know makes. Uh, oh, oh, I've not vaped these. Oh, I forgot I was steeping them. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, I tried some of this earlier on in the year and I did enjoy it, so I bought some more. Um, what else did I... Sometimes, when I'm feeling particularly in the mood, I'll vape some lemon crack. Uh, I did... Um... <laughs> Do you think so? <laughs> I love you long time. Um... Uh, Quack's Goose Juice. Um... Where's it gone? I had that... Oh, um... Yeah, I've got like, uh, <laughs> I've got four litres of it in the freezer, uh, my the original Quackster's uh, goose juice, uh, so that's still in the freezer. Uh, do you think 2023 will be the year of squonk mods? Nah. I wish. I wish. Um, I still love squonking. I still think that the, I mean, 
this is something you can argue the toss about. We could sit here until Christ knows when arguing the toss about it. Um, do you prefer, or what do you think gives the best flavour? RDA, RBA, RDTA, or, or RTA? Did I say that? Can't remember. You know what I mean. Um, for me, personally, and I know it depends on juice, coil, there's many variations that, you know, go on here. But for me, I still think an RDA gives the best flavour. I still do. I still do. Um, and, and, I, and, and I would love to see RDAs, more RDAs coming back and, and more squonkers. Uh, I really do. I have a, a prototype 21700 squonker here that a certain company should hopefully be putting out soon. And, and, and yeah, um, I hope so. I really do. Uh, uh, Lou, you got me on that four years ago and it's been my all day vape since. Sorry. <laughs> Tony thinks squonks and RDAs. Uh, you can't be an RDA. RDA all day. Squonks will come back once RDAs make their venture come out. I think it will be the year of the borrow. Demela, it's been the year of the borrow for the past two two years three two years definitely two years um yeah the cabello ah the cabello the cabello <coughs> the cabello is one standout tank standout tank um the van and dale squonk i don't think that's going to happen uh Atheon on a Cyclones, we got yep, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, draw is important as well. Yes, yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's a balance between so many things, and different for everybody. Uh, different for everybody. Uh, right, is there anything else that um, I, I'm going to mention this because this might be divisive for a lot of people. Um, <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do this I'll do this and, uh, and I know I'll, uh, some people may disagree with this one but here we go uh, I love this mod I really really do I know that it doesn't stand up I know that I know it looks like a tube slapped onto a box. I get all that. But it was made so, so well. Uh, I love the way that Darren did this. Um, the machining on it. The, just everything about it. And, 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 and once again, it goes back to what I was saying earlier on. I love the bonkers. Ask, the, just something different, you know rather than a no disrespect to this i i know that this functions you know in a, the real world if i was at the pub and you know put this down it would be it makes more sense but this is just something that works for me and that it's just <sighs> we need crazy we, we just need people that are just embrace the crazy just a little bit more to make things just a little bit more interesting um i mean you get you'll get people that will moan all day long they'll be in the youtube comments going it's just a box it's just a billet box clone it's just a box and then you put something like this up and they'll go batshit crazy going well that looks shit and you're like so i i tip my hat to Uncle Darren and the C4 and it, it's I really really like it I really do um, do you get radio 2 <laughs> it looks like a nice box mod by tumor <laughs> yeah, the, the rucksack mod <laughs> 
Uh, Tim B, the SXK Jenna is a good bridge. We don't, sorry, my channel don't support clones. No clone talk. Just no clones at all. Take it out the door. You can stay and you can chat, but no recommending clones. It's just not on. Um, and breast the crazy, I can dig it. Uh, Squonkin is more tactile. Yes, create. You, you put it so much more eloquently than I do. Creative thinkers is what moves the vape game forward. Yes, but that that's what I was trying to say in my special kind of way. We'll move on. Um, what else can I... We, I'm just going to whisk through here. Um... Actually, I'll show you this. We'll, we'll just, I'll just, we're going to do a couple of just whizzy, whizzy, whiz through here, whatever that means. Um, right. Uh, the legal RDA SE by Legal Mods. I kept this because I like it, and I like blowing clouds every once in a while. And this is made extremely well. This Atty, and it floats my boat. So yes, I kept that. The Genesis Borrow RBA was great fun because I got to play with a Genesis Atty again, which I hadn't done in so long, and uh, the flavour from it was absolutely bloody superb. Um, and I got my, uh, I got a Stranger's Mod, uh, Minima, which I still have, and it was a present from a very, very nice man. A very, very nice man. Yosef, thank you if you're watching, mate. Thank you very much. Um, the standout standouts, uh, Delro Cthulhu, yep, Sandwich, we talked about that. Um, the Labrys, I still got that. That That is just nuts. It's just absolutely nuts. And, um, and I still have it here, and I love it to bits. So the Labrys and the Icarus are both very, very good. Um... And I'm going to, the, the tripod, I'm going to, because it was his birthday three days ago, I suppose it'd be rude if I didn't mention it. And I took the battery out. I was vaping it, but I just took the battery out. I'm really sorry. Um, the tripod V2 is everything that I wish the tripod V1 was. There we go. It's a very, very good RTA. And all the little quibbles that I had with the V1, they sorted for the V2. This made me happy. Very happy. And it's a tank I enjoy using. I still enjoy using it. Um, <coughs> this little guy uh, has been... Um, the Apex has been a trooper and has been working away quite the thing. Uh, I uh, I thoroughly enjoy using this. Yes, it's an exposed battery, but um, it's very, very good. Uh, Joe, I just see a comment there, mate. You take care and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so, so much. Um, and all the best for 2023. Uh, Another one I'll mention is the uh, the oh we've caught up we've caught up oh, just like that I've caught up thank God for that no I need that window over here um you get two crazy countries Croatia and Scotland <laughs> moment of the year fast tech closing yes. Uh, are you still getting that really strange looking mech mod? Yes I am. That'll be here in the new year. Uh, Kyle. Um, Rebuildable Ryan is here. He's mooching. He's on the mooch for subscribers. I know his game. I know his game. You can't trust anybody with a beard like that. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And plus, now that he's into the drama videos, you know, you got to be careful with these guys. Once they get a drama video out there, they think they're Billy Big Balls. <sighs> <laughs> you, 
He knows I'm joking. He knows I'm joking. Um, Todd, is it true Grant's Vanilla Custard will send you juice if you email them? You can buy it from them. If you go to the website, you'll see the the email address there and you can contact them. But the price will make your wallet weep. I'll say no more than that. It, it, it will make your wallet weep. Uh, and as Dominic says, if you can email, then you can buy grants. Right. Um, if there's anything you want to talk about from this year, then please, by all means, um, let me know now, please. If there's anything you want to specifically discuss, then we can go down that road. Um couple of things I just want to say. He says after he's been talking all this time. Um, thank you to every mod maker company, the lot, that have either sent me shit for free, uh, sent me stuff with chocolate, sold me stuff. Um, thank you all. Because without them, I couldn't do what I do. So thank you very, very much. Thank you to the two people, my mum and dad, that still watch my reviews religiously. Without you, I wouldn't have a channel because, yeah, thanks mum and dad for watching my videos and all the fake accounts that you create. Um, to everybody that donated into the charity raffles this year, I once again, I apologise for not having the charity raffles running every single month. I, I'm sorry about that, and as I've explained earlier on, um, it just didn't seem like the right thing to do this year because of financially how, for everybody, things were <coughs> shit. Uh, so it just didn't seem right to be asking for money for charity. But, um, yes, we do have stuff lined up for next year, though. Um... As far as drama go, eh, drama, I've got to say, woohoo, I avoided being nailed, called out, anything this year, which is a first. Uh, I don't get involved in drama, I don't rise to it, I don't respond to it, I don't, I just don't do it. Um, but every once in a while I get pulled into it, even though I don't acknowledge it. But this year, I got off scot-free. I know there's a couple of days left, but so far, it's been good. Um, how much did we raise for charity this year? I honestly don't know at this moment in time. I really don't know. Um, I don't know, is the honest answer. Uh, <coughs> I, could, I could bring... I don't know. Uh, the 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 Dero, the Dero, the Dero, the Delro, the Delro. I can um, I can't, I can't. I think Tony asked me already about this. Maybe not in this video, but um, I don't necessarily want to review this because it's it's a prototype and there are several changes being made from this to the finished product and it it's yeah and I've shown it off in a couple of vlogs and to be honest there's not much else I can say outside what I've said um Yeah, I, I don't know what else to tell you. If maybe when I get the up, I'm, I'm, I should get an updated frame for it um, and a couple of other additional parts for it. I think when they arrive, I'll I'll speak to Justin and and, and ask if he's all right with me doing a review for that. Uh, but as it stands right now, I wouldn't review it. And and also <laughs> I will say, if you buy one of these second hand, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> if you've bought one of these um, <coughs> there was a group of people that got to buy these and um, 
prototypes and we were in a, a Facebook group where we exchanged information and how we were getting on with it and whatnot. But if you bought it second hand, then the, you didn't necessarily get into that group, which meant that you're not going to get the updated parts for it and all that jazz and, and yeah. Because I think a couple of them have been flipped already. Uh, but anyway, that's by the by. Um, sorry, I'm missing a chat. Of course, I prefer Mr. Mr. All the time. Thank you very much. Hasn't had a review yet. Thank you very much for your proper coils. Uh, Breeze tones in the house. Uh, didn't Mr. Hayes try and, but I, Mr. Hayes does Mr. Hayes, and uh, he's very good at doing what he does, so I will leave him to it. It's none of my business. Uh, thank you for the reviews. Thank you. Uh, Peter, you're very welcome. Yeah. Yeah, you're not alone in that one, mate. It's been a, a heavy black dog year. <laughs> I'm, with, uh, I'm with you on that one. Um, anyway, yes. I hope 2023 is better for you, buddy. I really do. Uh, right. We're almost done. I'm just going to have a quick squint around the shed and see there's, there's things that I will forget and people that I will forget to mention and I will feel bad about it. Um, I always do, I always forget things and right, here we go okay, here we go RTAs no, do I want to do this? No, I don't want to do that I'm not going to do it, I'm not going to do it I'm not going to do it, I was going to get into the what shit I've still got here and what I use on a frequent basis but then that would just open this whole thing back up and it's been an hour and 54 minutes and uh, and uh, oh German friend German German friend who I've not seen for a very very long time I miss you mate hopefully see you at the Hall of Ape next year if there is a Hall of Ape fingers crossed um, I really yes It has. It's been too long. It's been far too long. Uh, right. We'll do it this way. My most used RTA this year. There we go. Apart from my own. Because <laughs> that would just be silly. Right. This is going to sound a bit shit. I'll, I'll just I'll just pull them out. Yeah. The original Skyline, the Cabello, and the Narva. Um. Now, the the the, the the Skyline has been my most used tank since it came out, and every year is the same. I continue to use it, I still love it, and I still think it's one of the best RTAs hands down uh, for me. Uh, the Cabello is just, it's just that little bit of German. I just can't, can't just stay away from the German gear, uh, and... And I think it's great at mouth to lung and, and full on cloudy. And the Narva, whilst there's a couple of things that I'm not a fan of on it. And I, I, w I will say, and I've said this in all my videos, I say it in all my videos, I think we've reached a plateau, you know, where things are... Yeah. The flavour from the Narva is still, I think amongst the best this year uh, for me so that's my three RTAs I'm also going to do a special shout out for the Arcana I think the Arcana was superb or is superb uh, 
very, very happy with that. Very happy. Uh, so that's the RTAs that I've used the most this year. Um, I've got lots of other ones here that I still use, but I just wanted to kind of just, yeah, just mention them. Um, RDs, um, Skyfall, the Basic V2, the Nisoko, Nisoko, yeah. Yeah, they're probably the ones. And I've got, I've, I've kind of fallen in love with the, the Leon RDA again. i am really been using that a lot for squonking recently and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, uh, Arcana is excellent. Yes. You're German though, you have to say that. <laughs> um, so that's it for RTs and RDAs. Uh, bridges. As I said earlier on, I think the, the cloud is like a, a benchmark. I think it's superb. The dope is... Yeah, tremendous. Uh, the dope, the cloud, and I need to do a third one. There needs to be three. <laughs> Actually, it's not an RBA. Is it an RBA and an RDTA? The one that comes in the stubby, the one that comes in the stubby there, the the nine mil tank thing. I know it's not technically an RBA, but it's like borrow related. But I'll probably drop that in there as for this year. Um, it's not a top three. It's it's just the ones I've used the most. That's all I'm saying. Um, and as far as mods go. I have some very, very posh mods that are cost money and all the rest of it. And I love all of them. The ones that I've kept, I use and enjoy and, and will continue to keep. And I've had to pick one that has been used the most since it arrived this year. <laughs> I can't believe it. It, it'd probably be the stubby. Um, the stubby would be up there in the th three most used mods. Um, my crit, my, my, my C-Bot as well. That's that's just a, a banger. I absolutely love that. Um, and... Third one. I can't, I can't give you a thought. Probably a freehand. My freehand uh, M uh, by Limelight. That would be the three most used mods this year. Uh, which is really, really, really weird. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, just fuck off. <laughs> Don't. Not recommendations. These are just the things that I've enjoyed this year. Um they're they're not the most expensive they're not the rarest they're not made of you know it's just my personal taste which is going to be different from yours guaranteed you're going to like things more or less than i do and at the end of the day as long as you're not smoking a fag then we're all winning we're all winning uh look at yes I've no coffee left. I've hardly vaped, uh, and and I'm I'm looking for something to vape on here. I need something to vape on quickly. So there we go. Right, boys and girls, we cracked the two hours. What did we learn from this? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, how, sorry, was there a question? How many Anarvas are there in the wild? He's done five or six uh, spins of the wheel. There's... I'm sure there's been a few gone out now. Um, the only the only thing to, to bear in mind, I think, with the Narva is, um, is that... Yeah, it's, it's a... 
RDL but is leaning towards the tight side of RDL uh, and you can get a good mouth to lung from it um, yeah uh, destroy the stubby it's not listen it's not perfect lots of people have issues with the board crapping out on them lots of people have issues with the wicking uh, take a strand of wire out of it or learn how to build properly um, I mean it's a mass produced mod at the end of the day and, and it's Chinese mass produced so they pump out a few thousand There's going, I'm not defending it there's going to be issues um, I, I, really, I have two here and I, I really really like it I do I think for a mass produced mod they did a, a brilliant job a few screws and you can change the board out the board costs 20 pound uh, the the battery release system the thumb wheel i know we've seen it elsewhere but in a mass produced mod that was great um yeah i, th I think they did a really good job in it uh the delro i don't do you know it's strange i don't mention the delro but People that know me know that, I mean, I was away on Christmas seeing my mum and dad. Um, that's what I took with me. Two Delros. Um, I go on holiday. I go anywhere. I take my Delros with me. I don't take, that's, these are my travel companions have been since 2000 god knows when 18 19 um and will continue to be because i think because it suits the way i like to vape when i go on holiday that's it um go down down ship down um uh, keith um get ye pumped uh get ye pumped have you explained the lost vape thing what have i got to explain right the lost vape thing <laughs> why am i explaining this now um this is the lve orion version 2 lve so lost vape up until 2019 i think it is uh up to 2019 then became lve so lve make the orion v2 the lost vape that exists now or existed from 2019 onwards are different it's a different company okay does that make sense possibly not uh anyway uh breeze tones have you owned a bmm no never never owned one um i, I think the, the honest answer is i've never bought one because I always see them at over RRP. I don't think I've ever even joined the group. Um, and plus customs, by the time you add another 20% onto it coming over here, uh, I've never chased one down or gone hunting for one. It's that simple. It's, it, it's not an excuse, it's just that's fact. Um, so, yeah, that's it. And I think I got offered one at RRP about a year ago but it was an old version it was an older one and I and I wouldn't didn't want to review it because it was a it was a an old old model and and that's the only reason I haven't um um what was the best record you got in 2022 I'm not even get, I'm not opening that kind of worms you can know uh, 
I uh, understand some people need to improve their wicking, but there's things that nobody talks about, like altitude and temperature that affect how your juice interacts with the cotton. Um, in fairness, um, that... I, I always... Sorry, this is presumptuous. Uh, um, we used to joke about it every year. There used to be memes that went out. Uh, or we used to always say that when people are going on holidays and like going abroad to hotter climates and so on and so forth, uh, don't forget that the juice is going to piss out everywhere. Uh, because, you know, coming from Britain where it's shit weather all the time, obviously you go somewhere hotter, the liquid's going to get thinner. And, and it was just it was just common for years it was always talked about it was a joke every year uh, things didn't wick right in the winter because it was so cold um yeah I, I guess it's a, a on my part it's possibly a failing and it's something I should possibly mention it's, it's a it's a valid point uh, but I've never gone yeah good point i'll leave it at that uh where's the og drippy drippy uh, it's in the box uh driving state to state can change things how we what uh mohammed i know he hasn't he claims he's not interested because he can't get we've got a guy bora rp is actually very reasonable just hard to get not easy to acquire, well worth the chance, yeah, it's like, why do you just do something cool over here if you don't get around the portals, you can guaranteed spot to buy one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'll see what 20... I was going to see, we're going to see what 2013 brings. You never know, I might end up reviewing one. 2013. So old. I'm so old. <laughs> Right, guys, now we're going. Thank you. Um, without you guys watching these videos or watching this utter nonsense, um, I wouldn't be doing this and I wouldn't... That's actually ten and a half years now um, that I've been doing this and I can't thank you enough. Um, yeah. Yeah. If you didn't watch the videos, the mod makers wouldn't send me gear to review. Uh, it's as simple as that. So within a, without an audience, it's uh, it would be, yeah, this just wouldn't be happening. So uh, please, don't like, don't subscribe. I have a patron. Don't join it. It's shite. Um, and and, um, and if you drop in every once in a while and watch a video, then thank you very much for your time. It, it, it is appreciated. Uh, uh, but I'm going to bugger off and I will see you all in the new year I've got to watch, work, work on my speeches I've got to work on them they're just not what they used to be uh, I'm, not read, I'm not reading chat anymore I'm not reading chat anymore but thank you for all interacting right, bugger off go and do something more interesting instead <laughs>